This is the best portable rechargeable fan I've ever tested. It can also be used as a battery bank. More details later in this video. It is very powerful, quiet, and has exceptionally long run time. In this review, I'm gonna show you some quantified results using the wind speed meter, the noise meter, and compare it with the DeWalt 20 volts max portable fan. The wind speed meter is positioned about two feet away from the fan. It has four speed settings. Let's get started. The lowest speed setting is running at 4.5 miles per hour. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the screen of the wind meter. Increasing the speed, the second speed, 6.3, 7.8. Now the maximum speed. Top speed, I'm, I'm seeing 9.2 mile per hour. 9.4, 9.6. At the maximum speed, let's check out the noise level. 53 decibels. Now let's check out the DeWalt. Fully charged. Minimal setting is around four miles. The maximum speed is 7.6 mile per hour. Sixty six decibels. It lasted ten hours and five minutes thanks to its massive built in forty thousand milliamps battery. I was completely blown away by this test result as it was set at its maximum speed setting with the lights on and the oscillation on. At low speed setting, it will probably last for days. In the following charging test, it took nine hours to fully recharge. A USB type A to USB C cable is included, but the charger is not. So keep in mind to use a high quality power delivery capable charger that can do 12 volts, two amps. As you can see from my USB power meter, it is recharging at over 24 watts, which is really fast. It's great for home improvement projects or camping in the summer as I get both lighting and cooling in this tight space. It has a built-in 360 free rotating hook. So it's very easy to mount it anywhere in the house or in the tent. Super bright. And the brightness can be adjusted. Or the color temperature can be changed. When I'm outside cutting wood, I can easily use it to cool myself and avoid dust from blowing at me. So the dust goes that way without having to do any dust collection. It's such a great tool to have in hot summer days when I'm enjoying the outdoor activities. The oscillation can be set to 45 or 90 degrees, which covers a big area and works for a large group of people. Now let's take a look at its design details. It can be rotated almost 360. There are two ports in the back, one USB type A for power output. The other USB type C is actually a bi-directional USB C port for charging and discharging. There is a 360 free rotating hook with two keyhole mounts at the bottom, making mounting this portable fan super easy. The USB ports can be used for charging small electronics. Here's a quick charging test. According to my USB meter, I'm getting about five watts. I would recommend charging the iPhone or iPad using the USB Type-C port as it supports power delivery I measured a maximum of 17 watts out of it. Its specifications can be found in the back if you're interested in these numbers as much as I do. Its handlebar has a soft rubber material and can be expanded a little bit. 
so it's very comfortable to carry it around. I really like the fact that the remote is secured under the fan, so it's unlikely to lose it. Let's go over its button options from left to right. The sleep button disables lighting. The oscillation button changes the angle from 45 to 90 degrees, or off. There are four speed settings, represented by four LED dots on the right. And the fifth press will be able to turn off the fan. The lighting button is interesting as it goes through different color temperatures as well as its brightness setting. All of these features can be controlled on the remote, of course, and the remote has an additional off button to turn off the fan without having to cycle through all these speed settings. It has one, two, four, and eight hours timer. It turns off automatically after the set timer duration. I use it a lot in the house as it's so much easier to set up than a tower fan, whether it's on a treadmill or in the sofa when I'm watching a movie.